Okay, but this this building, as you can see, is in better shape. Mm. This is this is his inner sanctum. He appears to have a little hydroelectric power set up down there. All right, oh. but she has to see reason to. <laughs> well, that's the end of him. I do like the little musical sting. Yeah. There aren't a lot of games that uh, that do that, have a musical soundtrack, and I, I, I appreciate them in stealth games especially. Yeah, that, well that's the case where it really would make, makes a lot of sense. Little yeah, cues. did you ever play um, Chaos Theory? Chaos I have Theory? not. That had a really good one. It had a very a fast paced uh, soundtrack that would play two different ones, one with everybody who was alerted to your position and one during high alerts. And other than that, it was very soft, subtle music. Like, make a stealth game where the, like, the alert is just, like, the, some guy yelling, HEY! THEY CAN SEE YOU! <laughs> HEY! THEY SUSPECT YOUR PRESENCE! <laughs> yeah, you notice, you notice, like, time sort of bends a little when you're mid-teleport, so the voices get screwed up. Yes. Just pacing. Now remember, but hey guys, just thought I'd join you. Oh, the ears on that man! Wonder if those have been experimented on. That was insensitive of me. You can, in their distance, you can hear the rats munching away on somebody. Oh, yes. Lovely. <sighs> Alright, now let's try this again. You're free. They don't question it, they don't thank you. I'll just escort them to the county line. Or, which is over here, I guess. I don't know who you are or why you did this for me, but listen. Nearby, there's a partially collapsed building. Up on what used to be the third floor, you'll see a painting. I used to work there. Behind the painting, there's a safe, and the code is two nine four. Aha! Ah, excellent. See, isn't a good isn't it a good thing I, I switched into an alternate timeline where she wasn't killed by my incompetence. Thank God for uh, multiple universes, parallel universes. Basically. Oh. So right above them. Yep. You know, security's not very sophisticated in Dunwall when they're like they're they're off off they're like their office locks that they put golden ingots in, like have a, their co their combination is like less complex than my high school lockers. <laughs> yeah. Seems pretty thick though. Oh yeah, I'm sure if you're trying to just bash it open, I'm sure you'd have a hell of a time. Yeah, well, remember so back, at, back at the art dealer, those guys were trying to force it open with all those tools, and they weren't having any success. Bit of a precarious spot here. Corvo has excellent balance, luckily. Balancing right on top of a painting on a hinge. He also has the uh, light-footedness of an elf. <laughs> See, there's, no, there's a guy. There's a guy up there on that railing. And there's that door down there. You can go in through the door. You can go in through the roof. A myriad of options. And again, like I said, this game is really good at giving you a lot, a lot of choices. And and choices beyond just do you want to kill people or not. I mean, there's like different routes. Like even if you're just being stealthy, there's different routes of being stealthy. Yeah, that sh that uh, breakaway shadow thing, tower. 
uh, where if you kill somebody without being detected, it just... Oh, and they just disintegrate to ash? Yeah, that seems like it would play really well for a stealthy... Oh, yeah, absolutely. Stuff. If you want to be lethal but stealthy, that, that, that saves you, like, needing to, you know, move bodies around. Yeah, the evidence just disappears in, in moments. And he shouldn't be leaning like that. He could he could easily fall over. And that railing's kind of actually kind of low. Mm. And in fact, you'll see the terrible price of this lack of workplace safety before too long. Every universe that uh, exists without the OSHA <laughs> regrets it. Okay. <clears throat> now he's fine. See, like, he's not being a very attentive guard, but his inattentiveness is sort of directed in the area I needed to be, so it's not really working my... Oh! Ooh, you suspect. Okay. Remember what I... Remember the sliding attack? Yes. You dash, and then you hit the, the uh, the, uh, stealth button while dashing? Yes. Well, it can be used offensively. <laughs> there he goes. Ooh. <laughs> it's a long way down. And see, if the railing had been higher, that tragedy might have been avoided. <laughs> that would be pretty high, though. I, I smell lawsuit. <laughs> he sold that hit like a champ. <laughs> yeah, I freaking launched them. I'll, I, 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 I got a chance to do that a couple more times in the, in, in, in the course of the playthrough. It's one of the, one of the most satisfying ways to take, the, take guys out. Ah, excellent. Now we're... Nice and high up. That's that's basically the edge of the stage there. You can't get past that. Hmm. Oh, there's Sokolov. There he is. In some sort of greenhouse. Hmm. He's talking about celestial alignments. And they never elaborate on that that I know of. Yes, so so far. Far. Uh, the looks of it How are you feeling? Much worse. Do I have the plague? Please, sir, I don't want to die. Remember they're talking about the experiments? The formula mm. is working exactly as it should. On humans. I cannot let you go yet, because I have not finished with my study. But tomorrow we'll make what is it? <laughs> And we'll never know what's happening tomorrow because Alright, now he's out cold. There's a test subject. And needless to say, he was lying to her. There's n there is no cure for the rat plague. Ooh, there's a room. How will we, uh... Oh, let's see. Sokolov here. Excellent progress today. Test subject 312 is declining rapidly. As I theorized, formulas 12 and 17 administered in combination Accelerated. Interestingly, wow. the respiratory mucosa has erupted and raised pustule, grayish in color, which burst, causing hemorrhaging and pain. I now turn my hopes and energies to Formula 25, which, in conjunction with a high which can give me hopes in a dream last night, has great potential. As for test subject 312, after the characteristic swapping of his skin, he should be dead by mid-morning tomorrow. So basically Sokolov is a complete monster. Sounds like a uh he's pretty standard Nazi scientist. Yeah, he's basically he's ba yeah, he's basically he's a graduate of the Mengele Institute of Research, basically. Oh, Sokolov's house key needed. There it is. Thank you. Whoever you are, you kept me in a cage. My 
the normal. Pain is horrible right now. So I'll just hide in a corner and leave when I'm feeling better. Yeah, she's never gonna feel better. But sadly, we can't give Sokolov what he deserves because we have need of him. Yeah, now if you have needs of some elixir, you can just fill her up right there. Oh. I already, I already have maximum, but y yeah, you can take a couple. Um. Oh yeah, this is the. Uh, this is just about um. A report on the existence of the, uh, the you know the bootleg distilleries, the bootleg elixirs. Uh, yeah. By the uh, select draw. Yeah. He mentions no, that none of the men, his men using it report any illnesses or complications, so presumably that letter was written before I paid my visit. <laughs> All right. All right, Dr. Sokolov. Let's, let's get going. Now, we dis now we, we've, we've disabled the, uh, the searchlights, so Samuel will be ready to extract us. But can you teleport with this guy on your back? Uh, yes, uh, yes. Remember when I was carrying out, um, uh, Lieutenant, uh, Captain Kurnow? Yes. Yeah, you can teleport out. Basically, it's like you've got the guy slung over, over your right shoulder, so your left hand that you use for, you know, magic powers is still free. It's the left hand that's important. It's like when Superman flies. Exactly. Yeah, Zeke. I've got an interesting, uh, question for you on Hit the me. subject of Superman. Of course. Can you think of a superhero... That, that has had nothing bad happen to either set of their parent, either of their parents. Mm. Well, I'm sure there must be some. I, I, Although I mean, I none, have... most of the really iconic ones, yeah, it's like Batman's are dead, Peters are vanished, Peter Parker's are vanished. And clones and dead, and it's complicated. It's yeah, it's best it's best not to think about it too much. Let's see. Um, I don't know the um. Royal position. Oh, here we go. You made a neat job of this. Drop him here, and we'll be off. Now, at, what I'm going to do first before I leave is, I'm going to go actually because remember I went into his uh headquarters through, you know, just, I went straight to the roof, but there's a whole area within that you can explore that I'm going to check out first before we leave. Ah, excellent. Who are Wonder Woman's parents? Uh, Hera. I think. Like the goddess? Yeah. Who's her dad? Because she's an Amazon. Who's her father? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to be honest, I don't know very much about Wonder Woman. Neither do I. You know, in cartoons, it's a common thing to like kill off one of a kid's parents just so you don't you don't ha you don't have to draw as many characters. Yes, you don't have to deal with them. Like, can you think of a uh, like I'd say like a Disney animated character her hero who has two parents, two living parents? Uh, Ariel doesn't have Ariel doesn't have a mom. Belle doesn't have a mom. Mulan. Oh, does she have two parents? Living parents? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Simba heard, doesn't have a mom. On the uh, edge, though. It's constantly, like, almost dying. Oh, okay. Aladdin has uh, no parents. Aladdin has no parents. Jasmine has no mom. The, uh... Oh. Lady and Princess that guy's, that guy's children have no father now? Yeah. They could have already had no mother. Yeah, who know, considering how how dangerous Dunwald is, that they probably that's probably true. Now his son will grow up to be Aladdin. That's my theory, anyway. Aladdin is it, Aladdin is part of the Dishonored universe somehow. That's how you justify all this guard murder. You're making Aladdin. <laughs> Genie is best. a minion of the Outsider. <laughs> it's obvious uh, now. 